hello everyone. I want to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Nelson Kiama Moniki. I'm a medical doctor, a public health specialist, and I'm also a reverend in the Anglican Church. And in this video, I want to showcase the work that I have done for the last 20, 22 years, uh, developing a medicinal plant that has got the potential to alleviate poverty, prevent diseases and promote people's health. And this plant is none other than safflower. This is a safflower that has been, de been developed in uh, Botswana and uh, it's been the work uh, done to collaborate what other scientists have done in other countries. So this is a variety that I have uh, developed and it's called the safflower a Kiama variety. Kiama is my name. And uh, this plant, what you are seeing now is a project in Morwa. Uh, it is a project that we intend to take to 50 African countries by the year 2050, at least 10 thousand hectares per country and already we've got a footprint in Botswana, in Kenya, in Tanzania, in Zambia and also in Namibia. It's a high value crop. It's a crop that uh, will not get damaged by animals at, at this stage. It is a crop that will give you high value cooking oil, high value herbal tea and a vegetable. And this is a vegetable that has been assessed by the Botswana National Food Laboratory. It has got 39.2% protein. It's got the B vitamins that are not present in all the other uh, traditional vegetables like cabbage, rape, spinach. So I want to demonstrate uh, how we plant this, uh, these seeds. We sow them uh, liberally so that we are able now to harvest the, the vegetables when they reach this stage. These vegetables, they can be sold as fresh vegetables or they can be dried, which is my preferred method. I'm going to dry this using the solar energy and make a powder out of this vegetable. So what, after removing the vegetables, I will be left with the correct spacing for the seeds to mature, for the plants to mature to produce the, the, the seeds that I am looking for and the cut flowers. And this is a spacing that we have left here. Between plants is 25 to, 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 25 to 30 centimeters between, between plants and we've got uh, 40 centimeters between rows. So after this stage, this, uh, we are going to wait for these plants to grow. When they reach 90 days, they'll start flowering. And after flowering, now we can use, uh, we can harvest those flowers to get uh, uh, the, the herbal tea. After harvesting the flowers, we let it mature and then we do harvest the seeds. So after threshing the seeds, all the biomass that we are going to get out of this whole area, we are going to pound it to make animal feed. So this is the crop uh, that uh, should be grown at every, in every village in every country for poverty alleviation. Uh, for the fresh vegetable market, this is the research we have done so far. What we do after you uproot, you get one, two, three, four, ten to twelve of, this, of these uh, plants. So if you are growing this vegetable for the fresh uh, vegetable market, a bunch like this uh, would fetch you like five pula. That's about uh, 50 Kenya shillings or half a US dollar. You can imagine how much uh, you can harvest from one hectare. That's a whole lot of money. So you can just leave off safflower, just vegetables alone. Forget about the seeds and about the fodder, about anything else. So this is the beauty of these safflower uh, plants. Basically, when you get the vegetables from uh, uprooting, from the thinning process, the next process is called de-rooting. You remove the roots. 
by just putting together you wash the next thing is spreading them inside this uh, solar dehydrator inside this dehydrator uh, we have shelves it's actually very hot it's now almost 60 degrees centigrade and uh, after washing it's just spreading these vegetables on these shelves and uh, in three days time these vegetables will dry just like we had done here we had spread the vegetables here they have dried and now we have the dry vegetable down here which is now ready for pounding into the protein uh, vitamin uh, powder and we can also dry other things like okay. uh, these bananas you see here in just two days they will be dry enough. So this is the design of uh, a, a solar dehydrator, designed with uh, ideas from the University of Purdue. We can dehydrate tons and tons of this vegetable powder in this structure. Nelson Kiama Moaniki reporting for Modern Occupational Health, St. Lani, Gaboroni, Botswana.